Hey, I'm Flight the Flat Earth, and welcome back to the channel that opens the airlock and flushes stupidity into the vacuum of space. And we're back with more hate-filled stupidity from the biggest collection of morons on our beautiful globe. When are they going to learn that this particular series wouldn't be possible if they didn't keep putting their dumbass comments on my channel? And they're increasing. Keep it coming, you collection of rejects. I love it. I mean, this is episode 10 of Flurf Say What? And thanks to the amount of stupid they pump into my comments section, you can guarantee this won't be the last. Today, I'm a dumb fuck NPC sheep that thinks we evolved from monkeys. Stick around to find out why. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Honestly, there was so much stupid this week, I struggled to choose which comments to use. They're all so stupid. First up is this complete twant. You only need science and mathematical equations for the globe model because it's a toy decoration, so your calculations somewhat match loads of explanation points. You morons have real problems with specific words, don't you? A model doesn't mean a fucking toy. It means math that accurately describes our universe and makes predictions. And that's why we say there's no flat earth model, because there isn't a single version of your magic space pizza that comports with reality. Well, I have to hand it to you, Globers. When you guys pick a lost cause, you really commit, lol. You have literally proved nothing, but you act like you conquered everything with your idiotic ancient Freemason math equations, to which has nothing to do with this day and age on account the people made them up couldn't even go to the moon let alone fly yet. But keep up the opinionated work, I'm willing to bet all of you watch CNN, bah ha 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 ha. So, you think that because Newton couldn't fly to the moon, that made his law of gravity incorrect? No, the equation Fg equals gm1 m2 over r squared is used all the time. Architects use it to calculate forces on the buildings they're designing. Bridge users use it to calculate how much weight their bridge can withstand. We use the equation to send men to the moon. You can deny the law of gravitational attraction all you want, but that would make you a fucking idiot. No, you are the biggest idiot on the plane. We don't live on a plane, dumbass. If you want to claim Earth is a spinning ball inside a vacuum, first prove how it can violate the second law of thermodynamics known as entropy. Everything people understand about entropy dictates it's impossible for a vacuum to sit beside air pressure without there being some kind of membrane. Earth as you know it violates the second law of thermodynamics, which we all know is impossible. Occam's razor, my friend, it is that simple. Why are you idiots so intent on picking and choosing which parts of science you want to? You claim the second law of thermodynamics disprove our globe because it's a law. I mean, which it doesn't, and I'll have an episode of explaining the simple stuff to Fleurs about the second law of thermodynamics soon. But you forget that there are other laws, like Newton's law of gravitational attraction. This is what we call cherry picking, and Occam's razor is not what you think. Occam's razor says that when comparing two competing hypotheses, to solve a problem, you should choose the one with the least assumptions. And the amount of assumptions you have to make for the flat earth is stupid. We have to assume that all of physics as we know it is wrong, and that there is some magic man in the sky. The globe earth model makes no assumptions. We can explain and describe everything and make predictions. You can't. Level is flat, you idiot. Level does not mean flat. Stop using these words interchangeably. Stop it. We do not live on a floating disc, you dumb fuck. Apparently you don't care about teaching people the truth, you're doing this to put people down, and your followers enjoy hating people who you guys don't understand. You do not present information, so fuck off, haters. Man, that intro really triggers you idiots, huh? And that's exactly what it's designed for. You're right, we don't live on a floating disc, or any other form of magic pancake land. And you're telling me to fuck off? This is my channel. You fuck off. When does a straight level line become a curved one? Clearly you must be paid to make these videos in hopes of swaying the weaker minded. What is the scientific method? 
um, when the curve is really big, like this scale drawing of the Earth's size. Stop being a douche and actually do some research. How about you prove it? How about for once you or any flurf provide some evidence for a flat earth that isn't ripped apart in 30 seconds by anyone with half a brain? Why do you glow believers always talk trash about someone who you don't agree with? Sounds like a brainwashed liberal. Flat or round, who gives a shit? I've never seen a curve or flat plane. No one knows for sure. Pretty amazing in 2019 we have no real pictures of Earth except the perfectly round ones NASA show you. But wait, isn't it pear-shaped? 2019, we should have videos and pictures everywhere in space, SMH. Well, there's literally millions of photos and videos from Earth every year. Uh, that's such a stupid thing to say. The Himawari alone takes a full shot of Earth every 10 minutes. And as for pear-shaped, just go to the remedial classroom. <laughs> Right, everyone, shut up. I don't know why I bother, but today we're going to try and clear up a real simple misunderstanding. Yes, Mr. Lily, what is it? You're scared? Why? Because Fight the Flat Earth is going to interview a source you keep citing and everyone might find out how stupid you are. Oh, don't worry about that. Everyone already knows you've got about as many brain cells as the average bowel movement. Anyway, the Earth is pear-shaped. Shut up! I'm going to explain. Look at these two circles on the board. Which one is a perfect circle? What, Mr. Thompson? No, no, that's not a false equivalency fallacy. No, it's also not a rectification fallacy. Can you just answer the question? They're both perfect. Well, thank you. And at first glance, it might seem that you're right. But actually, the circle on the left is slightly wider at the bottom, by an amount you can't even see. And this is what Neil deGrasse Tyson meant when he said pear-shaped. The Earth is slightly wider at the bottom, by a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Okay? So you guys can stop being such retards now? <sighs> yes, Mr. Lily, what is it? You want me to define a circle using science? I mean, what the fuck is actually wrong with you? I'm off to subscribe to Fight the Flat Earth so I can see you get destroyed in Sleeping Warrior Week starting May 20th. I want to say a massive thanks to all my patrons. Your support is what keeps this channel going and allows me the time to focus on what is important, bringing you great content and fighting the Flat Earth. All patrons get 25% off my Teespring store merch and there's the offer of a free piece of merch of your choice for the $100 patrons. To join and become part of the FTFE team, go to patreon.com forward slash FTFE. And thank you. If you are so smart, please debate Eric Dubay. I would love to debate Eric Dubay, but as far as I can tell, he's too chicken shit to actually debate anyone. For an excellent destruction of Eric DeBay, check out the new series about him by Bob the Science Guy on this link here. You look like you practice involuntary celibacy. Nice tattoo, douchebag. Dude, I've been married 12 years and have two children, and I'm sexy as fuck. What, well, I am. And as for my tattoo, yeah, it's nice and unique. Look, it's my family's clan badge um, and motto and my wife and two children's names. Sorry, is it that your mum won't allow you to get a tattoo, dickwad? You really think something exploded from nothing and has been travelling in space for millions of years? You're a fucking idiot. You probably believe we evolved from monkeys as well. <laughs> I love it when these people that need to actually wear a safety helmet to get out of bed try to tell me what I think. No, two things. First, no one thinks the universe exploded out of nothing. We just know at some point in the past, all the matter in the universe was in one tiny singularity, which has undergone and is still undergoing expansion. Secondly, no one thinks we evolved from monkeys. No one. Us and monkeys both evolved from the same ancestors. Good on you for reassuring the world all poms are completely fucked in the head. I bet you daughter is dumb as dog shit, just like ha daddy, dumb cunt. Look at ya fucked up teeth. How did you breed IVF, I bet, fucked hard? That's just nasty, huh? Well, my daughter is smarter than you will ever be, that's for sure. She doesn't think the earth is flat. And what's wrong with my teeth? Did your mum drop you on your head as a child, or did she drop kick you? Biggest sheep on the flat earth. Wake up, you embarrassing NPC. Not one thought is yours. Keep following your government's words, lol. Yes, yes, I'm the sheep when you're the one that believes any crazy conspiracy theory you find online. Whereas I have facts, you complete and utter moron. You absolute muppet, this is the stupidest channel name in all YouTube. Congrats, I bet your mum is proud, MLFAO. 
I'm confused because my channel name is an accurate description of what I do. And, uh, Y-O YouTube? Fuck nugget. Oh, my mum is proud. She thinks flat earthers are mental cases that need psychiatric help. Let's see, wears glasses, so appears to look smart, speaks with a slight coherent British accent, so sounds like he's been to school enough days to be smart, has his own YouTube channel, so seems he has a basic grip on how to utilise tools of some complexity to evidence intelligence, believes the earth is a spinning balloid and we don't have a firmament over our head separating the waters above from the waters below. Nope, he's an pear-shaped dumb cluck just as his fellow honkers honking in unison are. Keep fighting against what you don't believe in. Good use of your bloody time, mate. By the way, shadows can be more fun till they kick you in the arse. Wears glasses, so apparently he looks smart. No, mate, I wear glasses because if I don't, I'm blind. And I speak of a British accent because, you know, I'm British. My god, man, that was a whole load of dumb fuckery, huh? Oh, top YouTube flat earth channels are run by shills or controlled ops. Duh. Same with these stupid anti-flat earth channels. Yes, the earth is flat, God is real, and these are the end times. Flat earth is just one of the deceptions. Just like fake moon landing, satellites are a hoax, dinosaurs are a hoax, and all top Hollywood actors are trannies, etc, etc. Well, I'm not going to address the normal flat earth nonsense in there. I'm just going to say that in 2018, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was the world's second highest paid actor, and, um... If you want to call him a tranny to his face, then please do, because I'd love to see him rock bottom you. Law of gravity, lol. Prove it. Show me mass warp in space time, ha ha ha. Morgoyle is spot on with this. This FTFE guy is sadly indoctrinated into a spinning ball religion with no proof. Show you mass warping space time? Sure. We recently imaged a black hole for the first time, confirming a whole lot of Einstein and Hawking's theories. The Earth is a globe in your fake comic books. The Earth really is flat and you can't hold a candle to Jaronism. Sorry, pal, but you're a loser. I'm not a loser. I'm Batman. And Batman says the Earth is a globe. Dickwad. Alfred, get me some tea. Alfred. FDF, he still doesn't know what the difference between pseudoscience and science. He still calls observations experiments. Hasn't he heard of the scientific method? What a retard. Nathan Thompson, is that you? It sounds like you. Which is bad because if you're not Nathan Thompson, then you do not want to be likened to that absolute skid mark. I found this awesome website dedicated to him and I think everyone should go and visit it and subscribe to The Red Shill. Thanks, that's all for today. I've already got more than enough comments for episode 11. If you've enjoyed this, then give it a like, subscribe if you're not already, and also subscribe to mine and Team Skeptic's new channel, Science or Satire, for a different look at the world of science. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat, fight the flat, fight the flat, fight the fight the fight, fight the flat.